wasn't like an eight hour, 10 hour day. It was literally a 22 hour day and it was nonstop. This isn't something you see every day, let alone um, most people aren't aware of this type of work. You know, it's buried, it's buried in the walls. So less than 10% of what we did, anybody will ever see. A seismic re retrofit in Missouri is, is pretty rare, um, but, but we built actually on the portfolio work that we already had on the West Coast. We pleased the client and became better partners. The Ray Federal Building honestly epitomizes everything that is, goes into that award. You look at how we chased it from the pursuit phase all the way through the design, the pre-con phase, and obviously during the, the construction where we knocked it out of the park. Totally agree. Using design documents and as-built drawings, you excavate a hole and you find something completely different than what anybody knew about and how quickly you can identify it, design around it, and keep the project moving. There was so much teamwork that needed to happen to get it done in the tight time frame that we had, and we had to be flexible with what we were doing. Make sure we avoided IRS during tax season. Whenever it was hurricane season, we stayed out of the Coast Guard space. Keep in mind, this is a million square foot, 3,000 employees every day fully occupied during the entire renovation. Night shift. <laughs> there were some nights that our night shift worked so late that the day shift greeted them on their way in in the morning. When we proposed on the job, actually, we had planned to, to work nights only. Um, then we found out that the owner and the owner's rep would only work during the day, which means that our day started at 6 a.m. and ended at 3 a.m., so we had 21-hour work days. It went great. Everyone was happy. We were all able to reach out to each other. No matter what, if someone had a question, you could reach out to anyone on the team, and they're all there for you having your back. It was self-consolidating concrete uh, inside of an occupied facility um, that was done at night, that was pumped into the building with, with miles and miles of slick line. 600 foot of slick line just to get where we needed to end up being on the 20th, 20th floor. When we got into the execution of the project, you know, we ran into some hurdles, big hurdles we had to overcome. It did not go according to plan. But the creativity that our staff and our self-performed trade folks came up with, that mindset of trying to find something new and being creative, I think, carried through the whole job. The client is ecstatic with the performance of the project, and so I don't think you could say more about it.